Hello, my name is Tarn Nguyen. I am a sophomore at the University of Arizona. Here I am a pre-business major and I'm hoping to get into Eller and focus on finance. Due to my major, I'll be talking about the economic benefits of conserving water for everyday homeowners, understanding the basics of a water bill, and the monopolies of water companies. The first thing I'll be talking about is how to conserve water and money. Today in America, the average person uses 80 to 100 gallons of water every single day. This amount of water is used during showering, flushing the toilet, drinking, washing their hands, eating, preparing food, etc. All of these everyday actions require so much water for just one person. Now, if you look at it on a bigger scale, imagine the amount of water used for a family of three or four or even more than that. In our society today, water is essential to living. And there are many ways to conserve water, even if it's just a single droplet. By doing that, any homeowner can bring down the cost of their water bill. Starting off, the easiest way for any homeowner to conserve water is to constantly check their home for any water leaks in the shower, sink, toilet, washing machine, dishwasher, and sprinklers. By doing this, you'll see any leaks will be causing an overuse or unnecessary use of water, which can cause water bills to skyrocket. The top items that are use the most amount of water and cause higher prices on the water bill is a toilet, shower, sink, washing machine, and the leaks of the, throughout the house like I previously mentioned. An average toilet will use about 33 gallons of water, a shower will use about 28 gallons, a faucet will use about 26 gallons, and a washing machine will use about 23 gallons. To conserve water, one can limit their time in the shower, install low flow toilets, use a dishwasher and washing machine only when there are full loads, Make sure the sink is not running when it is not being used. A typical family of two to four people will use about 80 to 100 gallons of water per person every day, which will rack up a bill of around $76. If each person cut down their water usage to about 50 gallons a day, the cost of the water bill could be cut in half. As we're trying to save money on our water bill, we need to understand what a water bill is and what each section means on the water bill. A water bill is a form that a homeowner would receive from either a government funded water company or a private water company that is in the district that they have to pay based on the amount of water they use. Before we go into different parts of the water bill, I believe that it is important to know who is charging you. There are two groups that will be providing this bill. In all communities, water is a necessity, and it is a good that will always have a high demand. With water being a good that is naturally made on Earth, it opens the door for a natural monopoly. Water companies often fall under government-run monopolies, or they are private companies that have control over specific districts based on their geographical location. So looking at the water bill, it's broken up to five main sections. At the very top, you'll see who is charging you. Below that, in section A, you'll see the account number, the date you were billed, the date it is due, your name, and your address. Below is section B, which is one of the most important parts of the water bill. There you'll see your charges broken down into three sections your main water charge, wastewater charges, and not very common, other charges. In your water charge, that is your everyday use of water, like showering or using the toilet. The next section is wastewater. The wastewater charges are for what you used. And after using water, it goes down to your drain and goes to factories where it is cured and maintained. So this charge is based on your main water charges. The last part of section B is your other charges. So this isn't a very common in a typical household, but it could be charged for fire sprinklers or hydrants. At the very bottom of this section, they will all be totaled up. In section C, you'll see an overall summary of the charges and it shows the final amount that you owe. In section D, you will see the amount that you used this period, last year, and the readings from your meters. The last section of the bill is section E, which has a bar graph comparing your water usage each month. So in this video, we talked about ways to conserve water that will lower water bill prices. We talked about who charges us, and we talked about understanding the water bill itself. I hope that you were able to learn a thing or two from this video. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.